Taurus, hi, it's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. Thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you're all well, wherever you are. Um, this is your reading for the 28th of June through to the 4th of July 2021 or thereabouts. I've pre-shuffled your cards, um, Taurus, so I'll just do a final shuffle of the Tarot of Dreams and we'll get on with your reading. So we have the heart of your reading, what's on your mind at the moment, the root of the matter, past influences, the future going forward and then something else your guides would like to say to you at this time. At the bottom of the deck we have the Two of Swords um, and this is uh, about a difficult decision to be made. Um, it's difficult to face it, you don't want to face it so you're turning away from it as you can see the woman here with the blindfold on and she's not only doesn't want to see what's in front of her but she's turned away um, because it's it's a difficult decision I feel uh, from probably two options here um, creating a, some conflict in her mind okay so I'll just put that to one side see where this is going I'll just do a final shuffle of the light seers tarot for you Okay, so here we have the chariot. Uh, it's interesting, this, this jumped out when I was doing the pre-shuffle. Um, so this is about, all oh, systems go now. This is about things are going to start to move forward quite quickly now. Um, you, it's about taking control as well of the reins. Um, you deciding which way the chariot is, is going to go, but it's going to go. Uh, and it's just about... Um, taking control, I feel, of, of the direction. Um, that which is where this the Two of Swords may come in then, is it you're making this difficult decision about the direction things are going to be heading or are, are heading in. So at the heart of your reading we have the Lovers and the Star. Um, the Lover is very much a Gemini energy. Um, now, as, as the picture shows, this, this can very much be about an inter a close, intimate relationship. Um, it doesn't have to be. Um, the lover's energy is very much, it can be about choice, making a decision, particularly in, in, in terms of relationships. Um, it can also just be talking about a very, very close friendship. So a very close relationship of some sort. Um, when two people are very much on the same page, if, if you like. The clarifier is the star. Uh, and this is how holding out for hope, having hope, wishing on a star, very optimistic, positive energy. Um, but you see the young woman, she's actually got a, a string attached to this star here. So she's holding on to it, she's not giving up. So she's holding on to hope, um, was hoping for her wishes to come true uh, in connection with um, a relationship of some sort. So what's on your mind at the moment, um, Taurus? Well, we have the Tree of Life and the Eight of Cups. So you're thinking about connections of some sort. Sometimes the tree of life energy is about internal connections, how we, different facets of ourself are all connected. What we inherit from birth, for example, or from our ancestors. You know, from what, what, wherever the planets were positioned at the time of our birth, you know, can have an influence on, a, a big influence on who we are and how we respond and react to situations. Um, but the tree of life, this can also be about external connections, so how we all connect with each other and the importance of our connections um, and how important is, it is for our stability um, to have these connections. 
and what they all mean and it's about perspective as well according to where you are on this tree of life you will have a different perspective when looking at the center for example now the clarifier is the eight of cups um, and this is walking away from a situation that um, is no longer meaningful for you after leaving a situation but heading towards a new sunrise heading towards something new something different um, you know this is the eight of cups so looking for the ninth cup essentially which is on the way to the ten of cups which is about you know um, about a happiness and abundance um, so but so this is the eight, eight of cups so this is you're thinking about a connection of some sort um, and walking away from a, a particular connection now this can be to do with a racial relationship it can be due to do with work and career um, it could be to do with community um, it can be to do with environment um, so there's many aspects it can be to do with and, and it's likely for each one of you watching this um, reading Taurus that it will have a slightly different meaning for each one of you so this is what you're thinking about at the moment and you see I feel it is in connection with um, a relationship of some sort that you're holding out hope for at this time and you perhaps are wondering about whether the connect the connection this connection whether whether it's time to leave or or not or whether it's time for it to change in some way okay right at the root of this we have the moon and the king of wands um, the moon is about um, when something's not clear at the moment something something was a bit unclear a bit vague um, a bit in the shadows uh, concerning a king of wands energy and a king of wands is a very um, passionate it's a fire energy um, it's very much a Leo energy and the king of wands um, is an entrepreneurial energy is very creative very driven very focused very fired up if you like um, very much a, a person of action so it's, this is not gender specific by the way um, so this could either be representing an aspect of yourself Taurus or somebody connected to you um, but there's something a bit vague here and this is at the root of this situation something not clear concerning the king of wands energy so past energies we have the seven of wands and we have the knight of wands so we've got two two fire energies here um, two wands energies so the past energy the seven of wands this is about standing up for what you believe in defending yourself not allowing others other perspectives and other positions to ride roughshod over you if you like or dominate in some way but you had the higher ground here um, or somebody certainly had the higher ground here standing up for themselves and defending themselves um, and the clarifier is the knight of wands and of course the knights are about action they bring in movement and movement and change but here we see the young woman, she's beating her own drum here, so others are dancing to her tune. So she's almost setting this drum on fire. All the ones are lit here around her. Um, so she's certainly drumming and bringing in change and bringing a lot of passion to the table also. But whatever this is to do with, you, it, it, it meant that you've having to defend your position here whatever it is whatever the change in the movement is that um, that you're creating in the past it, it, not everybody agreed with it I feel um, Taurus and so you, you've had to sort of stand your ground and stand your position here um, 
And see, all of that has led on to the current situation um, with the lovers and the star energy. So this close relationship, whatever that relationship is, uh, holding out hope. And it, it's, there's something to do with the King of Wands energy here. Um, and things being a bit vague. Things being a bit uncertain, perhaps. But you've certainly been thinking about this connectivity uh, in some way. Um, and perhaps a need to um, leave a certain situation. To, to find a better situation for yourself. But of course, with the Two of Swords energy, it's a difficult decision to make here. But things are moving. Things are move, starting to move forward. So going forward, what have we got? Well, we've got the Six of Cups and we've got the Seven of Swords. Um, the Six of Cups, this is very much about um, family. Or certainly people who have been very close to you over a long period of time. It could involve children. If you see the picture of the child here. So it could have in, involved children. Um, and partners, um, or, or, you know, extern extended family members. So whatever it means for you. But going forward, there is something, there's an energy about um, people that have been around in your life for a long time. Um, but connected to that is the Seven of Swords, and this is the deceptive energy. This is the thief in the night energy. Um, somebody being somewhere they shouldn't be, wanting to take something that doesn't belong to them, that's actually not meaningful for them. Um, this figure, hooded figure here, um, out at night by the light of the moon, uh, stealing the crow's tail feathers, um, which means the cr that's going to harm the crows because it means they can't fly. Um, but, you know, it, not, it's of no use to the hooded figure. So, you know, this could be about... Um, sabotage um, can sometimes it can be about about self-sabotage in some situations you know when something is going well needing to do something to um, stop it going ahead um, in a very positive way just almost not being able to help yourself in some situations Taurus uh, and sabotaging it because you don't want it to go forward in a certain area. And that's just for somebody or for some, some of you. But there's something to do going forward. It's just something to be mindful of about um, a connection to do with somebody, either family um, or somebody else who's been in your life for a long time. Um, but some form of um, deception of some sort, whether it's external deception or self-deception going forward so let's see what your guides would like to say to you now okay so we have the six of coins and we have the eight of swords so the six of coins this is when somebody's offering a token gesture somebody who has plenty but is offering you crumbs. And the clarifier is, I, I feel you're very aware of this, Taurus, because this is creating a lot of mental conflict. Um, a feeling of being very sort of quite trapped in this situation, feeling stuck and trapped. Um, but this, this is all about what's going on in your mind. If you can't see a way out of it, um, but there is always a way out of it in some way, shape or form. But our minds are very powerful and can keep us stuck, can keep us feeling trapped. And it's concerning somebody that's offering a token gesture here. And I'm just wondering whether this is where this um, Seven of Swords comes in here. This deceptive energy. Yeah. 
and it's concerning um, somebody that's been around in your life for a long time and could possibly be family or extended family. Who only offers um, crumbs, if you like, either of themselves or of what they have, what the what they potentially could offer, and and it's causing a lot of mental conflict. I feel for yourself. It's certainly something to do with a relationship of some sort here. Uh, but you you haven't given up on this. I mean, you're still holding out for hope here. Um, but there's a difficult decision to make and it could be connected with um, having to leave a situation or move on from a connection. But in the past, you know, you've had to stand up for yourself and defend yourself. Um, particularly when you've you know, beat, beat your own drum, really. Um, try to do your own thing. And it's something to do with the King of... There's something to do here with the King of Wands energy. Um, but th th that things were very vague. Um, this is at the root of the matter. Things were unclear concerning the King of Wands energy. Okay, I'm just going to get, I'm going to get some more information. Could we have some more information about the Six of Cups and the Seven of Swords, please? For Taurus. Some more information concerning the Six of Cups and the Seven of Swords, please, for Taurus. Well, we have a card that's jumped out and it's the Four of Wands. And this is about a home, a secure home environment established where there's been lots of success within this home environment. Um, lots of hard work put into creating this environment for everybody, for the family. So I'll just pop that back in. Well, we have the um, Two of Cups that's come out now, which is about, um, this looks like um, a married couple, doesn't it? Close relationship. Okay, just pop it back. Right. Right, so connected to the Six of Cups here, we have the Four of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Um, so this is feeling stuck, um, feeling trapped, feeling discontent, discontent, um, feeling a sense of lack, if you like, not having, not having enough. Um, you see the young woman trapped inside, it's raining outside. Um, her, the cups outside are outside and, and they are full. Um, but she's just, it's, her energy is one of um, for being fed up, really bored, fed up, stuck in. Um, and the Eight of Pentacles, um, this is about working hard, working hard, um, being skilled, um, you know, getting paid for your skill. Or needing to get paid for your skill but being very focused and working hard um, at the same time the energy of the four of cups you know a sense of, of boredom and dissatisfaction and feeling stuck 
um, and that's within this um, family situation or relationship situation. Okay, somebody working very hard. But it's, I feel whoever this is for, it's not actually bought you a lot of happiness, whoever this is for, at this time. And it may be made for some of you, it may be to do with the situation we've all been in, haven't we? With COVID and feeling locked in, feeling stuck, feeling trapped. Things not, you're not being able to get together with family and friends. You know, it could have, it could have for some of you, it could have something to do with that. Um, and then connected to the Seven of Swords here, this deceptive energy or self-sabotage energy. Uh, we have the star again. Um, so having hope, wishing on a star. Um, but then we have the devil energy, and this is this is about um, unbridled passion, um, very intense energy, obsessive, obsessive, addictive energy here. Um, so obsessed, so addicted that it's unable, you're unable to feel the harm that it's doing. It's that sort of an energy. You see the lovers here, they're being burned up with passion and the, the thorns of the rose are scratching into them, but they can't feel any of that because they're very absorbed within themselves, with themselves. So, um, very obsessive energy here, connected to um, this deceptive, the Seven of Swords energy. But somebody's got hope, somebody's hoping. Is somebody hoping here for more passion? For the fires to, to, to be lit, if you like, with passion. And I'm just wondering for somebody whether it's got something to do with the King of Wands energy, who's at the root of all of this. Is somebody, is the Seven of Swords reflecting somebody keeping something to themselves, hiding something? Perhaps hiding their desires and what they're hoping for. All right, I'm just going to get two final messages. What else? Does Taurus need to know here? What else for Taurus, please? What else for Taurus? Well, we have fogged in, so go slow, take your time, because the future's not clear. Um, things are a bit foggy at the moment, and I know we saw that at the root of the matter with the moon energy, didn't we? Where things were a bit vague, a bit unclear, cause, uh, particularly concerning the King of Wands energy. Um, so, your guides, Taurus, are saying, you know, things are a bit foggy at the moment, so go slow and take your time, it's not clear at the moment. Um, and then surrender to the journey. So release control of the direction you're going in. Release control and surrender to the journey that you're on. So it looks like you're being guided here, Taurus. Um, you're in the boat now and you're on the way, but you're being guided. I'm, I'm very aware here that it, it is night time in this picture. We've got the full moon here uh, and you've got your light is lit here. The lantern is lit. So you're still sort of looking, searching to go, looking to see a, a way to go, the direction to go. There is a castle in the distance there, but it's how to get to the castle. Um, but what it's saying is surrender to the journey and release control. You know, you're going, you're on the way, wherever that way is that you're being guided and, t and taken now, Taurus. 
and, and try to enjoy the journey also. I suppose it's the energies are saying don't don't fight what's coming in for you now. Because things with the chariot, things are um, starting to move forward for you now. All right, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the reading and it's had some meaning for you. But good luck going forward and I hope you can join me again in the future. Bye bye for now.